my name is Pavel Spechalski and have you ever wondered why the quadcopter drones we are using right now look and behave uh, like they do? Is it really the best? Or is it just uh, the best compromise we are having between all the pros and cons of this that everybody knows is the best? Now, now we know that really the quadcopter drones we are using right now with the flat with the all motors on the same plane is, is the best. Not because it's the best, but because it's the best compromise. But when the drones were just starting, people were experimenting with slightly different designs. And today I will show you a design that I recreated from the multi -Wii times just to see how it behaves in the, our new modern reality with much more faster and powerful motors, flight controllers, ESC and so on. So, Let's welcome Project Tilted Indirect Trust System, aka A-Tail. The general idea behind the A-Tail quadcopter drone is relatively simple. It's a quad, but rear motors, instead of being in the same plane as the front motors, are tilted outwards, uh, so that they make more or less the A shape over here. In this case, in my Project uh, Tits, Tilted indirect thrust system. Yeah, fancy name, right? The tilt angle is 45 degrees, but it can be more, it can be less. It really depends how much of the thrust and the force can the motors generate and, and, and work. What's the difference? The, the difference between this setup, A tail, or the V tail, because actually the V tail is more or less the same, only that the motors are not tilted outwards but the frontwards, and the, the mounts over here can be just swapped, and this can be converted into the V tail, which also be a material on this channel. The idea is that instead of using the differential reactive torque from the motors to control yaw, like we are working, like we are using in case of the normal quadcopters, so that when those two motors are spinning faster than those two motors, then the whole quad rotates, I don't know, sure, this direction, and if you want to rotate it this direction, then those two motors have to spin faster. In case of the tilted rear motors, it's working in a different way, because only the rear motors have the yaw authority. If this one is spinning faster than this one, then the whole quad rotates like this, and if the, this one is spinning faster than this one, then it rotates like this. Roll control, exactly the same. If those two are spinning faster, then we rotate this side. Uh, if those two are spinning faster, rotate this side. And the pitch control, this is also important, pitch control is provided only by the front motors. So only those two front motors have the pitch authority, while the rear motors have... So the front motors have both roll and pitch, while the rear motors have roll and yaw. So in theory. In theory, the roll should be very effective. Yaw should be more effective than on the quadcopter, while the pitch should be less effective than on a regular flat quadcopter. Now, you might ask a question, why? Who came up with such a crazy idea? Like I said in the opening of this video, this is all back from the times of the multi wii and the first quadcopter drones. Why? Because back then the motors were really too weak, for what we wanted to do with them. And because we want to have this differential reactive torque, the maximum torque really depends on how much thrust two motors can deliver. If, for example, the drone weights 500 grams and the total, let's say, torque delivered by two motors is only 500 grams, then, as you might imagine, the total amount of torque that can be used to control the yaw is very, very, very limited, almost zero. So this is more or less, this is from this rule that the total torque, uh, total thrust from the motors should be at least twice the weight. This is more or less from where this rule comes from. <sighs> Does it fly? It hovers. So far I know that it hovers. Now we will skip to the future uh, where I will make some test flights with this um, A-tail quad and then 
I will record the rest of the video because so far I only know that it hovers, did not flip during the hover, so it maybe even works, or maybe not. We will see. So now the some field videos, uh, maybe some FPV, maybe something else, and then closing and the summary of the video, which I don't know the outcome of it yet. So, does it work? Um, kinda, yes, it kinda work because yes, um, I was able to more or less fly the, the A-tail without any really like super major problems. I even did not have to super tune the, the UAV, the drone, to be able to take off and fly. But does it work well? No, mm -mm. hell no. It was, I don't want to say a nightmare, but there was something let's say um, it was constantly bobbing on the pitch i try to lower p gains on pitch i try to raise p gains or pitch and this was just constantly bobbing um i even made like a flip a roll yeah it it, it but the finish was really the finish was a nightmare and this is more or less I'm, I'm sure this is why nobody right now flies uh, a tails or v tails the v tail will be the next one i just have to swap the stands and i will have the v tails because of this let's say very uneven characteristic i think that it's kind of because the the disturbed air from the propellers is not really going free below the frame is just hitting the central central part of the frame creates some turbulences and uh, PID controller is just unable to compensate for all of that so no no a tails as experiment yeah sure why not let's let's give it a try if it works but uh, as a regular way to fly like a everyday drone definitely 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 no it really sucks in the air it flies but it really really sucks. Okay, that's um, all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.